no! Hmm. Yeah, he's been out cold for a long time. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Looks like a glass shard. Hey, Barbara. Hey. It's Officer Phelps here. Um, yeah, I'm at the hit and run incident, and the victim is hit. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. He's out. Um, and as for the run part, yeah, the car's gone. Yeah, it's definitely a hit and run. Yeah. So we got some uh, we got some glass shards here um, from the car. Hopefully, we'll be able to trace that back. Um, at least I hope it's from the car. At least it'll be just random glass shards. But we'll see what we can do, and uh, I'll, g I'll keep keep in touch. See you, Barbara. What do you want, you foam head? Professor? Gene. <laughs> so you may have heard uh, I was to a hit and run. Did you get the, the glass shards and evidence and whatnot? Of course I got the glass shards. Yeah, and what'd you do with the body parts? What'd I do with the body? Well, of course I sent it over to Noah and that other girl. I think her name's Maddie. So anyways, I was talking to Barbara earlier. Um, the case. It's quite the dime you got there, buddy. Bye! <laughs> Alright. See you later, Gene. Everybody, Professor Gene! Ah, hello there, hello there! <coughs> hello, I am Professor Gene. And welcome to my glass individualization classification class. Today we'll be learning about a specific case that I've been working on for the past three years. Uh, it's, it's involving a hit and run accident just down the road from my house. Unfortunately, since I was not the first on the scene, I only got these crappy pieces of glass. But anyways, let's try and do this. Okay then, let's begin! Okay, now we're here using glass fragments. Fragments like these can be used to place the suspect at a crime scene. Or, in this case, identify a car. Anyways, it's usually found in clothing, in shoes, victims, or uh, usually on victims of hit and run accidents like uh, the one we just had. Um, usually class, glass is class evidence, unless it can be individualized by putting them together as, for instance, a jigsaw puzzle. Ooh, they fit. Anyways, the physical properties can link, link equals the link from the crime scene to the suspect. So like these, as you can see, probably belong to some sort of truck like a Ford Expedition or Tahoe. Uh, the fracture patterns can also recreate the sequence of what happened. As you can see, because these glass broke exactly like this through the fracture pattern, as you can see there, it is obvious that the, that the uh, person getting hit went flying above the car, hit the windshield, flew over the car, and then miraculously wound it up in a ditch in front of the car. I know, it's pretty amazing. Uh, uh, man, that doesn't fit. I need a fit. Uh, uh, you know, it's usually classified into families based on uh, chemical composition and physical appearance, such as this is brown, and uh, uh, tastes extremely sour. Uh, anyways, um, it's usually glass is made by melting sand 
and ashes and then mixing them together and putting them into a very extremely hot fire. Glass was first found, to, uh, the technology, sorry, f the technology to make it was first found by the Romans uh, in Mesopotamia about uh, 25,000 BC. And it's quite intriguing to know that all these pieces are ending up fitting together. If only I could find a match. Uh, Is it really that important to interrupt me for my TV show? <clears throat> yes, you nimwit, I found the car! Well, geez, you could have told me. Yeah, well, I just told you, nimwit! Really? We found the car. The car's at Bad Boy Ben's mechanical workshop downtown. Alright, for sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick, I'll, I'll go there right now. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get the sub suspect. I'll cuff him before you can say, D Semp is on varsity. D Semp's on varsity. Okay, alright, maybe you said that a little too fast, but, um, I'm on it. I'll. I'll... Now go, I gotta take the poop! Okay. You're going to jail, buddy. Ah, ah, baloney. Justice.